The number one killer of Americans is heart disease, followed closely by cancer. But number three on the list will shock you. Now there's new evidence the third leading cause of death in the United States is due to mistakes made by doctors and other health care professionals. Those errors usually aren't added to death certificates. We found that 250,000 patients in the United States alone die from medical care gone awry. Medical mistakes included breakdowns in communication when patients are handed off from one doctor to another, unnecessary surgeries that lead to complications, and patients who are discharged without any guidance on what to do next. As a medical community, there's an increasing recognition that we should pay attention to this problem, measure it, and try to develop innovations and prevention strategies. It's a helpless feeling, but there are a few things you can do to empower yourself. Take a supportive friend or family member to appointments. They can help you remember and understand what doctors and nurses are really saying. Also, ask a lot of questions about medications, surgeries, and alternatives to therapy. Lastly, you don't have to rely on one physician's course of treatment. The experts say second opinions can be a good safety net. All right, so we check the hospital safety scores provided by the group LeapFrog, which surveys hospitals across the nation. Just about all of the local hospitals scored either an A or a B in the survey. Scoring an A for hospital safety were Christ Hospital, Good Samaritan, St. Elizabeth Hospitals in Edgewood and Fort Thomas, Bethesda North, Mercy Health Anderson, and Westchester Hospital.